So finally the day arrives. So here it is. Let's uh, do the official unboxing. So here we have the EOS R. Now, this is the kit containing the 24 to 105 lens and the adapter, so the Manor L glass can be fitted on it, which is going to be. Excellent. <laughs> Happy days. Let's open it up and see what we have. Right. More packing. Let's just check all that away. Mount adapter. EF to ES. EF. R. And kit box. So, Life Cake. Never heard of that brand name. I don't know what that's got to do with this. Possibly the packing supplier. Uh, yep, yeah, it's the uh, official GB version. And contents. Camera charger, lens hood strap, lens case, battery pack, and interface cable. That's going to be interesting. Open the box. <laughs> Here you go. One power lead, UK. Canon ESR. Wow. Thought there'd have been a link to download that. That's good to see. Product serial card. The battery. This will be the N battery. Yep, it's the LPE6N. Uh, that allows me to charge it through the USB C port. Uh, USB C cable. Uh, obviously, you need to buy the <laughs> charge adapter for it, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, but I'm sure some enterprising Chinese will find a solution to that and we'll get the money back. Let's pull out this. What else? Next in the box is standard charging yet. Don't know if there's any difference to that yet. I've got a couple of others for my other cameras, so I'll just join the kit list. 
Interesting packing, it's a bit of a departure from previous. What do we have here? Ah, lens pouch. Sure. Standard Canon lens pouch. Kind of chunky, reminds me of the one that came with my 85. 1.2 um, <laughs> small and chunky lens hood. I'll just open it in order that they come out. One lens hood, one strap, EOS R. Oh, a tiny little thin strap. Um, I'll be using my peak uh, design strap. I much prefer that. And finally, on the bottom layer, tidy up some of this. Finally, on the bottom layer, what do we pick out first? There's a lens. It's all very interesting packing, quite a bit of a departure from the way Canon used to pack these things. Now uh, that's a quality lens that. It's great feel. Interestingly the, the lens caps have the look of the same type they use on the, on the M mount. Although obviously it's different. It looks real quality I have to say. Um, the sort of anodized metal finish here. Weather sealing and of course all the extra contact for the new camera. I have to say I'm well impressed with that. It, oh right, that's a clicky ring. Uh, you probably can get that declicked. Uh, for video shooting, but I'm not doing that at the moment. Depends how I decide to configure it. Alright. So it's, uh, it's got the push button to release now. So that's a bit more like some of the recent lenses. I have to say I'm, I'm well impressed with this. That's quite a, an improvement over the, the current 24-105 uh, lens I would say. And now It came in a box. Lens. And cap. And there's the moment. <laughs> wow. First impression is that that's a quality piece of kit. Um, yeah, it has a good feel about it. I like this. Yeah, I do like that. Oh, hands are on the hand. I've heard some talk about the AF on button. Uh, I, I use back button focusing. So let's just have a look at that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, sure, it could have been a bit more over here, but soon get the muscle memory and uh, 
will soon work that fine. Uh, in terms of the joystick missing, uh, yeah, sure, I, I've got a 5D Mark III, now I've got a 7D Mark II. Uh, I use the joystick, uh, but I also have a Canon M5. So I'm kind of used to this, uh, and there's a lot of similarity. Uh, it's like the, very much the big brother of the M5. Um, uh, sensor protection there, you can see it's down. Well, let's get a battery in it and see what happens. The flippy screen that nobody else seems to be able to manage at the moment. Can do it well, I have to say, when they do it. Mic port, headphone port, USB, HDMI, yep, USB C, remote for controlling sh remote shooting. Everybody's complaining about the one car slot. Yeah, um, I'm used to the mode button. Um, I know that some people are saying that, uh, you know, waste of landscape, you should have the mode button here. Uh, but on my camera, you have to press it down anyway to release the lock before you turn the, the mode button. So what's the difference to press mode and then rotate to change the mode? I really don't see it. I think that's perfect. Also, you'll see it in the EVF, you'll see it in the back screen. So you're not having to chimp or look at the dial when you're turning it. I think um, it's really handy here to spin it. Easy matter to, to do that. I think that's going to be no problem at all. Let's get the battery in it. Um, I won't charge the end battery. I've got uh, other Canon batteries that will fit this. So let's do that now and um, fire it all up. Yeah. Put the battery in, and the pin light comes up on uh, on the display. Um, there's an LED here that will tell you when you power on. So it's a bit. It's interesting that never heard that mentioned before. Memory card. We now need a memory card. Yeah. So. I don't have uh, the latest memory card, the uh, SDX2. So the best card I've got at the moment is a PNY Elite Performance, 128 gigabyte, uh, 100 megabytes per second. So the new uh, socket in here does allow us to use the SDXS XC2 which I think does about 300 megabytes per second and I'll need that when I come to do video but this will do me for a moment I'll have to get myself on Amazon and see what I can buy excellent get the lens on Hmm. Yeah. Right, interesting, there's a notch in the lens which will line up with the red line. That makes it a lot simpler. Similarly, there's a, a mark on here that you line up with it. Makes it a little bit simpler. So take that off. Take this off. It's really nice. Lots of room for your fingers here. Really good grip. Canon does that well. And so let's power it up. Wow. 
on. Oh. So we have the battery in there, all powered up, and the new display on the top here you can see. Press that down, reverses it, and the feature. Um, gonna have to take some time and get used to the controls on this. That's just a first look um, for everyone to see. Um, I'm gonna take a bit of time, uh, get used to the controls, uh, make sure I'm set up correctly. I'll take a few test shots. Uh, I'll post those later and let everyone see. I just thought you'd like to see an unboxing and a first look. Um, yeah, it's interesting to say the least. So. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, sorry for the hesitancy. I'm just a bit overawed with it on. So I'll come back later um, and we'll give you some better insight into the use and the performance of the camera. So thanks for watching. And if you're interested in following me, just uh, press the button to subscribe and you'll see much more of this camera. Thank you.